South African opposition leader Julius Malema has challenged Kenyan President William Ruto to demonstrate his commitment to pan-Africanism. Malema, who is the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters Opposition Party in South Africa, made these remarks when he presided over the inauguration of the Pan-African Institute at Lakinia University in Kenya on November 9, 2023. The Pan-African Institute stands as a beacon of education, research, and cultural exchange, with a core mission to foster unity and collaboration throughout the African continent. Its establishment represents a significant stride towards promoting knowledge sharing and partnership among the diverse nations of Africa. Furthermore, it will serve as a vital platform for networking, collaboration, and dialogue among its participants, facilitating connections that hold the potential for substantial positive change across the continent. Professor PLO Lumumba, who is an influential figure within African academia, serves as the chairman of the institute. Malima pointed out that President Ruto has previously spoken about the importance of Africa shifting away from the dollar and embracing African currencies. However, Malima contends that President Ruto's actions do not align with his words. He criticized President Ruto for extending a warm welcome to King Charles III, who failed to offer an apology to the Kenyan people who suffered during British rule in Kenya. Malima was particularly dismayed by the fact that the Kenyan army saluted the visiting king. The Kenyan army is not a colonial army, Malima stated firmly. Comprising the descendants of Mau Mau freedom fighters, it has no reason to salute a former colonialist. Malima called for unity across Africa and the elimination of visa requirements, emphasizing that African people are fundamentally one. He expressed his party's refusal to succumb to pressure to harbor animosity toward African immigrants, declaring, if we must resort to hating fellow Africans to secure votes, we will forego those votes. He pledged the unwavering support of the Economic Freedom Fighters Party to the Pan-African Institute, including financial support, as it plays a critical role in realizing the dream of African unity.